It is a wonderful occasion, a day-night test match, and the West Indies have decided to bat in the daylight and take their chances later on in the evening on day one. It will be Hazelwood. Now then, he's given him out early on in the piece. Boy, it was a delayed decision. I think there's an inside edge on this. Brathwaite went up straight away. Oh. Three slips in the gully. And there's the first one. Hazelwood is relentless. He just hits it, hits it, hits it, and eventually gets it. Brathwaite's gone. One for nine. Quicker one. Oh, thick outside edge. Marsh chases after it, but it gets to the boundary. Nicely driven on drive by Chandapur. His most positive shot of the day. Oh, there's some aggression from McKenzie. Threw the hands at it. There's a hopeful shout of catch, but that was certainly not going to happen. Man, just came from nowhere, that shot. It's a little bit of Chris Gale in there, it wasn't was. it? It was. a smaller version. But... Cuts late and cuts well. Starting to get into his work now as Chandapur. Second boundary. Oh, the top edge sweep, and he gets away with it. A couple of bounces, and it's into the rope. Yeah, I really like this from McKenzie. Oh, crunch through the offside. Just starting to put the foot down a little bit in the West Indies. Edged away, and good catch. Kawaja. Well, the ball before he played and missed, this time he hit it. As it's that man again, the, uh, the postman, Pat. And it's a good catch for Kawaja. Ooh, beautifully bold, and outside edge, it's a boundary. Edged and taken, beautifully done. Yeah, not going to miss out on that, Steve Smith. And Mitch Stark gets his first one today. Chandipal goes, 21. Edged and gone. Mitch Stark has 350 test wickets. He has been a wonderful servant to Australian cricket, and he keeps delivering. Athanase goes for eight. Well, uh, and it's met with a flowing drive. First ball. Take that, Mitch Stark. Edge. And he has another. Mitch Stark is rattling through these batsmen. The West Indies reeling. It's still bathed in sunshine, but the lights are on for this second session. <sighs> well and truly on the cards there for a moment. Cam Green takes it on, belts it. Travis Head was there at mid-wicket. Stuck a hand out hoping to get a hold of it, but that's powerfully struck. Beautiful stroke. He's watching the ball closely. Is the West Indian wicketkeeper. Lovely little counter-punch going on here. Helped around the corner. That's going to go all the way. It's a six. As De Silva comes out. And he's positive, and now Hodge getting in on the act for his first six. And he cuts it away nicely. Good way to bring up the 50 partnership, that from Hodge. Back with a point. Nicely played away. Touch of drift on it, but Hodge got across, threw the bat at it. Another boundary. But it's the wicket taken Mitch Stark and the open with the boundary off him. Beautiful shot down the ground from De Silva. Beautiful, beautiful street drive. And that's one thing at the Gabba. You get value for shots. You don't need to hit it through the fence. You only need to get it to the rope. And yeah, put away, full toss. Come and search for the Yorker on this occasion. It was too full, got it wrong. And a good one for the West Indies, no doubt about it. So they'll go into the sheds to come back to the third session. Nicely played. Compact played to Silva, just eased it through the gully region. Oh, goes down. There was a shout of catch, whether it carried. Nevertheless, it's 50 for Hodge, his first in Test cricket. He's part of a fine partnership alongside De Silva, trying to rescue the West Indies. Well batted. Yeah. Nicely played. He just eased into it, delivered some width, and De Silva didn't overhit the ball, just timed it perfectly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scurries through, 100 partnership and 50. For Joshua De Silva, the fourth time he's reached the mark in Test cricket and part of a valuable middle order partnership to bring the West Indies back into the game. There it is, and it's wide. 
diving in the slips. Steve Smith. He's a jet in there at slips. Got close. Great shot. Threads it through. Just comes a little bit wider, Pat Cummins. Searching for that drive. Edged and down. Well, it's not often you see that from Cameron Green. Oh, it's a short one. And it's been dealt with by Hodge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh gets it past the fielder. That'll push away and down the ground for four. Hodge with his left shoulder. Nice. Same result. That has been squeezed through as well. So three runs in that over. Ah! How close is that? How close is that? Good enough. From an umpiring point of view now, the West Indies will have a chat about this. Pitching in line, impact in line, Lucas hitting. Well, he's had to work so hard today, Nathan Lyon, for this bit of success. And that is the end of a wonderful partnership. And now this one makes its way onto the ground. It's... Well, he'll get a boundary. Bit of a warm-up delivery from Hazelwood, only 126.6, but he found the gap. Edged. And he departs, Stark, the pink ball destroyer, late in the night, as he so often does. Smith with the catch, and a fine knock from Hodge comes to an end. He's done well there. It was the attempted in-swing York, and Alzari Joseph just works it through the onside for a boundary. Nicely played. Joseph with a second boundary, just to keep things ticking over. Lofted straight down the ground. Elzari Joseph's playing some shots. Hello. Eight. His third boundary off Pat Cummins of all people. Nicely Oof. played that. High front <laughs> elbow and Sinclair just punches it down the ground. And it's made Brian Lara smile and even chuckle. Thick edge between Marsh Oof. and Green. And they're looking at each other with vacant expressions. Punished through the offside. It's an enterprising knock from Joseph. This one edged and four more. Partnership flying now. 36 from just 25. Just tonked straight down the ground. No respect at all from Joseph. He continues to flay the Australians late in the evening. Gone. Smith takes another catch. Joseph's enterprising knock comes to an end. Hazelwood picks up a second. That will be the end of the evening's play. And the West Indies will be 266 for eight.